Okay, wait. So now let me let me put the fuse in it. Okay, yeah. So that's all I had to do. I just had to figure out what was do what was um not dopamine, what was barium and what was phosphorus. Okay. All right. Well, that was kind of confusing. I wonder if I drop it, will it explode? <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. It was like a perfect delay. It gave me just a, the right amount of time to think, hmm, maybe not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Set it gently. All right. Yep. Stop. Okay, so... Just don't bash it on anything. And I should be good. And don't drop it. I wonder, if I drop it down the hole, what would happen? Would I just lose? Or would there be an explosion that would kill me still? Or would nothing happen and then I'd just be stuck? Oh, this is going to be a jump and a half. Alright. Oh, okay. Just sits right in there. Let me slap my... Slap my... Oh. Fuse in there. Okay. Here we go. Nope. Here we go. Sweet. Red. Red, I'm coming. Where are you? Ugh, don't. I did not find a rat, but, you know, I'm here. Red? <laughs> uh, what is this? Thule. Thule? Th 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 something like that. What's in here? Locked. Well, I don't have a newspaper, so. Can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. And I've jotted down a note. Locked door that Red has been leading me to. I need to get it open. Great. See, that's the kind of useless note that I was talking about earlier. Uh, why do I still have this note? I was thinking of doing the newspaper thing again. That's what I was thinking. Um, okay. So I need to get a grip on the door. I don't have anything to grip it with. And also maybe it's locked. I'm not quite sure about that. Good evening. Oh. You, you actually came. Hey. There is much that should leave my thought box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I am bad. The underworld are letting back in here, so I suppose one further is communal is dangerous. It is false pretension, and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. Surprise, surprise. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought to the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that awaits for you, hungry behind those doors. Mm -hmm. As the basements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. What? But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and the voice you in your room is red. Who did I? Your companion resided within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head are not my own. And I cannot take my life because it's against the rules. Please, what? the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chat and mud below by the fire is ended. And I hope that soon as they shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let me invite you into peace. <laughs> I, whoever voiced Red deserves an award, man. <laughs> He's got, he delivers crazy so well. <laughs> oh, it's a cross. Look at that. Um, I, what, oh, pipes. Great. So Red wants me to kill him. Oh, is he in the incinerator? Uh, so he wants me to to kill him because he's not allowed to kill himself because it's against the rules and he won't give me the key to open the door because I shouldn't be able to see what's behind it because it's ter terrible but he wants me to replace him is that what I'm, what I'm getting at 
I don't really want to kill Red. Is there an option to not kill him? I was trying to, you know, cut some of this stuff. Cut these, cut these cables. No. Sorry, Red. Oh. Red, I'm so sorry. Whatever happened to you down here, it's over now. Yeah, you kind of screwed with me a bit, Red, but I mean, I liked you still. I feel bad for burning you alive, but it also seemed to be what you wanted. Mmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> there goes Red. Uh... Okay, what does this say? Red, let's see, uh, red is dead, death, nobody to talk to, set out. So I guess this is just, this whole area is where Red's been hanging out. This is the radio he's been contacting me with? Yeah. Why do you have to leave me down here alone? Yeah, well, he didn't want to be here. It happens, okay. Um. What is this? My, okay, I gotta read this. Young Red's predicament. <clears throat> My dearest friend, how are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do, and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I think I'll have to worry about that. I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home, but it's pretty tough work. And so far, you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly, cr kind of creepy crawlies, and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiffed. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bront, Nietzsche, uh, perfect bedtime reading. Although, I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I was uh, always used to. I always used to ask my mom how long people survive without food and things. I read uh, some people can survive underwater for over five minutes. Some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cra go cave crazy first. That uh, sounds too much fun, but I had to choose. I'd say I'd want to go mad. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood, proper mine worker, December 1970, age 14. So, so Red started working here. He came to this off-limits part of the mine. It caved in. He got stuck. And he lived his entire life here. Well, not entire life, but, you know, ever since 14. Yum. Leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing is quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. Yeah. I guess that's a dog. This is bed. There's nothing under it. It's got some pee stains on it. Uh, I guess I'll save again. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not that... Uh, not there out of choice. Father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. What the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. If I never see another one of these things, I don't know. I don't like them. But at the same time, I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? Y yes, I can. Red did definitely have a lot of books. <clears throat> So I don't know how he's been catching stuff. That's the poop hole, I bet. I think it might have been. Yep, told you. So he's been stuck in these like these three rooms. So how has he been catching stuff? Oh, there's a noose. That's a. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
slugs. Ration slugs. Oh, hey, I know what I have to do here. Say hello to my screwdriver. Those are definitely bolts and not screws, but whatever. Maybe running out to the door. Yeah, no, it is. All right. I didn't actually think that was going to work, but okay. So let's... Let's see what's going on uh, with this door now. Can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. Well, I mean, I got a crowbar. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing, deep down, that the pain I had caused Red was, itself, all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would have traded- wait, I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or, uh, or some clue or other to my father's fate, and that was that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Uh, okay, he's getting another note here. Welcome to the shelter established 1973. Elevate cast, chief staff, blah, blah, blah. Population 57. Is this Fallout? Key members, please have your identity documents ready. Okay. Can I try this screwdriver again? Mm hmm. No, I cannot. All right. Well. It says exit. I mean, that's a good sign. We're not going through there. Hello? Um, hello? Uh, my flashlight isn't working. Hey, I just want to get out of here. Oh, f oh, that scared me. With that, the man who had first descended to the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. Wait. To be continued. Is that it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> okay, so there was someone else down here, he came out of a door and grabbed us from behind, and that's Penumbra Overture, um, yeah, so I mean, we gotta, I guess we'll move on to the next one, I'll, uh, I'll see you back at the main menu once I'm through these credits, I guess, <laughs> Alright, back to the main menu. So like I said, uh, we are done Penumbra Overture. Actually, let me just quickly, let me just quickly check. I'm, I'm alt tabbed here, so sorry. Things are frozen, I know. Uh, right, I just want to check the name. So yeah, Overture, that's done. Um, there's, I think Black Plague is the next one. Uh, so yeah, that, well, I mean, we'll go on to Penumbra Black Plague next. And then there's Requiem, which I think is the final one, but it's supposed to be horrible. And then I think there was like a fan-made fourth one. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes on. But either way, um, Black Plague and Requiem are up. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed another session of Penumbra Overture. And I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>